I want to talk about domestic violence for a moment um, and be real about it. Everybody knows that's involved in my situation or that has watched um, things unfold with my situation knows that I'm a domestic violence victim. This is real serious business, especially when you're talking about trying to rehab people. We've got a lot of things that create domestic violence victims. I want people to know and understand to begin with that domestic violence can happen to males or females. It's not gender specific. The thing about domestic violence that's so sad is it's so easily preventable, especially within our family court system. And we're just not using our resources correctly in order to do what's necessary in order to combat domestic violence. We've got a lot of things that we need to do before we can have real change within our system. And it all begins with the judicial system. To start with, domestic violence doesn't just affect the, the husband and the wife, partners, whatever you want to call your, yourselves as a couple. It affects the community, especially the children, when they watch people who they love fight and argue and beat each other up. It's a huge, huge issue that has to be dealt with. We've got people out here who are really suffering really badly from domestic violence. There are core issues that cause domestic violence that are known within our statistics, and we need to do everything we can in order to address those issues so that we can stop domestic violence at its core. One of those things is adultery. The other is um, lying and cheating on your uh, uh, with your spouse. Cheating doesn't necessarily mean adultery either. Cheating can mean um, cheating with food, uh, uh, money and other resources that you may have as a couple. Having your kids watch this and go through this teaches them if you participate willingly, it teaches that your children um, that uh, that domestic violence and the things that cause domestic violence are acceptable within our society when it's really not. We've got to do everything we can in order to combat the things that are breaking the family structure up. Serious business people, this is real issues that we're talking about here and nobody's addressing them like they should be. Everybody's focused on things that really don't matter and are irrelevant in what needs to be done in order to create the change that's necessary that we all begged for last summer. Those of you who were involved in the riots and those of you who were not, who prayed for those who were to stop doing what they were doing because violence does not solve violence. That's the one thing that everybody needs to see in this situation. When you, when you participate in violence, either way you go, you're wrong. The only person that has an excuse is somebody who's defending themselves physically. And that's only to the degree necessary in order to defend yourself physically. That doesn't give you a right to turn around and start beating and bashing on people just because you're, you need to defend yourself against them. There are, per, there are correct ways to defend yourself, whether it be with regards to the domestic violence, the adultery, drug abuse, or whatever else is causing the domestic violence. Trust me, the police are really tired of running around and being everybody's social worker. So we need to get this right. Not just because it puts law enforcement and other people in the line of fire and causes dangerous situations. Also because it's affecting our children and the rest of our communities. We have to do things that are realistic in order to make real change if we don't want to see what happened last summer happen over again with God's love. God bless America. Have a blessed day. And back the badge.